Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So, today we've got one system from the user Universe in Discord to check out and their system is called the Gargantua system. So massive thanks for them for sending this system in and without further ado, let's go ahead and have a peek at what they have prepared for us. So, subscribe here, it should be already here. There it is. Alrighty, okay, so... Whoa, what is that all about? Endurance 2 spacecraft, okay. You look out uh, for the Endurance 2 spacecraft seeing the, the wormhole you have just traveled through. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> all right, okay. Um, your computer notifies you of the data it gathered from probes and archives of previous missions. You open the tab and see the description. Spoilers about the Interstellar movie. Ah, okay. Um, Gargantua, a supermassive black hole of 100 million solar masses. It is the centre of the uh, the system. Despite its mass and the fact it seems to be at the centre of a galaxy, the region seems emptier than your average galactic core, suggesting a galaxy that is really lifeless and dull. Despite this, there are several noteworthy objects around it. Okay, so... Whoa. Zooming, I'm still zooming out. Right. Okay. So, wormhole is there. So, it's a miniature. So, that's a wormhole. Okay. And then the probe came out of that. Okay. So, the object itself. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. A supermassive black hole. It's a center despite its masses. Oh, yeah. No, we already read that. Okay. Sorry. I'm just being silly. So, Miller's Planet. Oh my god, it's like inside the... It's like inside the black hole region, look. Oh my god, it's like right on the... I mean, we call that the event horizon, pretty much. Like, it's right there. Okay, so this is a very strange existence here. Named after the researcher of the same name that lands on the planet, Miller's planet is an ocean planet with knee-high oceans until you encounter the massive waves. Despite being starless, Miller's planet is worn by the accuration disc around the black hole and tidal heating. Okay. It, um, in act, the waves are likely attributed to the massive tidal effects, so be careful. I'm not surprised with how big that black hole is. Whoa. Okay. Next up, we've got Man's Planet. Named after Dr. Man, the leading scientist of the Lazarus uh, Project, which uh, plans to send 12 researchers through the wormhole that landed on the planet. Man's planet is actually an icy frozen planet with a frozen clouds. Don't ask, blame the writers. <laughs> um, with an atmosphere containing ammonia. Man's planet also has high inclination and a high eccentricity, presumably how it hasn't dropped to absolute zero temperature. Okay, so the wormhole, which we already saw. Decades ago, NASA detected two black hole collide via gravitational waves, traveling through a wormhole that connects to another wormhole around Saturn, which um, caused NASA to discover the system in the first place. Not much is known about the wormhole itself. Okay, so next up we've got Unnamed Red Star System. Unnamed Red Star. So it's got, oh, it's got a little ring as well, and I think it's got one planet. Trying to get them both in the same shot there. Yeah. Okay. So, unnamed red star system. It was recorded through one of Lazarus's project participants. Last reports were there was once a rocky planet in the region until a Jupiter-sized planet through the rocky planet entered the star's Rouge limit. That's why the asteroid belt's there. Um, and was ripped apart. Transmissions were substantially cut off. Okay. Next up, we've got Edmund's planet. Where are we? Whoa. There's a lot of objects in This is such a weird design as well. Wow. Where's Edmund's planet? Uh, da, 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 da. There it is. So it's over this. Okay, it's on an orbit of this star here. The only habitable planet in the region. Edmund's planet orbits a star similar to home and is named after the researcher of the same name and is considered a bright second home after the um, bright ravaged Earth. Edmund's planet is confirmed to have clouds. A proof for water, oxygen, a provider for potential planet, uh, plant like life, and solid land. More is to be explored. Other unnamed planets. The other planets are part of the Lazarus project and is where the rest of the researchers went to. Although the fact that the participants did not communicate the signal for Hattable's side suggests that, that it isn't suitable anyways. Okay, so we've got a neutron star chilling in here as well. So Edmund's planet orbits this star here. Okay. So black hole 
gravitational wave source. Interesting. Okay. And then the rest are all unnamed planets. That's that all red. Okay. So what's this? Remnants. Oh, so this is around that ring, isn't it? Oh, my God. Whoa, laggy. Whoa, that's a lot of particles. That's actually quite cool, actually. Look at that. The particles stand out. That is really cool, actually. I like that. So, uh, unnamed Earth-sized planet. That's all it's left. And then the rest are all unnamed planets. So, we'll go ahead and check them out. So, we already saw the gas giants. There's one here. So a lot of unnamed planets. This is a very, very interesting crafted system. You know, all the planets are all over the place. I mean, this is crazy. So, there we are. Unnamed planet. So, they can just sort of jump all over the place to all of these guys. So, there's that one. Another unnamed planet. Just bouncing around the whole... Uh, local area here and then all the way over here so there's all of the planets okay so let's actually just try and get the orbits on let's actually see if this system actually okay i get it okay so there are orbits in that excellent okay so it's a very very strange design isn't it you know it's definitely unique you know really really unique i like it so there's a neutron star as well chilling there so here's the wormhole in the local area we started in, and I'll see all these objects are really far. I mean, look, if we look at the furthest object here, so that's this one. How far away is that? 1.2 light years. Because remember, he said this was like the start of a uh, inside of a galaxy local disk. So in theory, this would be inside a galaxy. So for instance, if we were to use a galaxy, for instance, this would be sort of in the middle, wouldn't it? So um, I just want to try and use something quite basic, but... In theory, we'd have something like this. He said it was a start inside of a galaxy, so it'd be sort of roughly, sort of like this. Inside the greater galaxy, so... Yeah, pretty cool though, I like it. Control Z, undo. There you go, cool. So there we go, so that is... The gargantua system from the user universe in discord so a massive thank you to them for sending this in i enjoyed that quite an interesting build and um, really really nice i like that so yeah guys let us know what you think down below in the comments of that system and of course if you enjoyed it make sure to press that like button and also subscribe for more help us on the journey to 30,000 subscribers i really really appreciate all of your guys' support and yeah let us know what you think of the system that universe uh, submitted to us there so pretty cool stuff and yeah guys with that all said and done Make sure you have a great day, stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.